All right, guys, before I start this video, I just want to tell you guys about the giveaway real quick. I'm giving away a Fujifilm X-Pro1. Previously, I was going to give it away when I reached 60,000 subscribers, but I got another surprise for you guys. So now, when I reach 50K subscribers, I will be giving away the X-Pro1. So just comment and like on this video. Make sure to subscribe. That's the main thing. Subscribe. Once I hit 50,000 subs, I will give away the X-Pro1. Mm -hmm, no, baby. Mm -hmm, no, baby. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Call it the newest wonder. No, no, no. Call it the future tree. No, no, no. All right, guys, I'm just out here on another road trip, just uh, exploring the American West again. But instead of just having the X100V, I now got the Fujifilm GFX 50S II with the kit lens as well. So for anyone that shoots full time, you're aware that keeping the passion behind photography gets a little difficult when you're having to kill your creativity for clients. Now for me, being able to travel through the American West and just reliving a time that almost seems uh, surreal and cinematic to me, kind of harks to Fuji cameras. When I pick up my other mirrorless cameras that are kind of DSLR form, uh, it just reminds me of work and my creativity just instantly gets killed. I can't help it that the gear affects me that way. It just does, I'm just being honest. So when I pick up Fuji cameras, they just remind me of film cameras again. And anytime you pick up film cameras, you just want to go out and explore and document and just have fun and see what you capture. So it's rare that these are digital cameras, but they still have that same filmic effect on your creativity. GFX 50S II and the X100V. These things, at least the setup that I have on the GFX right now, is just heaven for road trips. And you may say, oh Cam, do tell me more and also get out of the view. Just to start off, the X100V is just amazing for everything from photo shoots to just documenting life to taking road trips and documenting uh, America or whatever country you're in, I guess. But when I'm doing bigger trips and I'm shooting stuff that I know that people are gonna be like, hey, would you ever do a print of this? Kinda wish I had a bigger sensor with more megapixels, megapixels to do prints with. I'm gonna take my first photo from this trip that I've been on the road for 12 hours, so haven't taken one photo. Passed through great parts of New Mexico, but it was in the night. But I was just trying to get to my destination, so when I'm like that, it's hard for me to stop. So if I had more time and patience, I would have captured everything. But you know, I'm not that young, but I got time to go. That was great. That feels, that brings so much. It's stupid how much happiness that brings me. X100V is great. It's, as they say, the best camera is the one you have on you, whatever. That's this camera. Uh, I got a little dirt on it. But when you're shooting meaningful stuff, and again, you might do some larger prints, this guy just comes in handy, the GFX. One really sick thing that dawned on me as I was shooting Monument Valley is the crop modes that you get in camera. But I don't want to stay too long. So you see the way I was originally framing that was for a five by four, um, but I was like, hey, this might be cool as like an ultra wide print. So I put in that crop mode to do, again, like a panoramic crop, uh, and I realized I was too close. So just having that cropping camera really helps you get proper compositions. All right, guys, so you can see I'm in five by four mode right now. I personally love this crop. I don't know why, even when I shoot on the X100V, I do this crop and capture one. I wish they gave you the ability to do that in camera um, on the smaller megapixel cameras, but they don't. They do on the X-H2 now though. Let me just show you this real quick. I'm going to here. Can you see how sick that is and how inspiring that would be if you're trying to do prints wide like that? Um, and it just really helps you get proper framing up too. Uh, Cause you can see it's cropping all that out. And when you, your brain just can't like sometimes imagine those, those frames there, you know? here 
in Sedona, Arizona. We pulled in last night. I didn't put too much thought into this trip. I'm just kind of winging it. And Sedona was only three hours from Monument Valley. So I was like, shit, I'll go there. I had a bunch of stuff planned. But I didn't realize yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. So it's a freaking tourist trap out here today. Everywhere I stopped, it's just bombarded with people. I got sick of it. I'm just getting out of Dodge here. I was contemplating going down through south. So I could go through Tucson. My res is an hour south of Tucson. But I saw that Roswell, New Mexico, I would be able to go through there if I stayed north. So we're going that way because I've never been through Roswell. guys this is the shit i live for screw all the tourist traps i'm all about this forgotten era of america don't touch the ball it's over call it close but we all know what this is gonna be you came to fail the test you met the best expect the chest but got monopoly i came and bought you out i knocked you out i brought you out with no apologies i am no hope the heart the faith is fucked the one who will fulfill the prophecy i just been counting never lounging coming up milk is bouncing back step in the ring about to step back they're long hot when i get on the track i like it louder than most watch all these shit just by down to the go if i can't decide i'm gonna probably get both we don't celebrate but right now i'm a toast resurrected ghost guys so last night uh we stayed in roswell new mexico i've never been there obviously there's a lot of alien stuff that uh we know about there so So at the end of the day, guys, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which camera is better than the other. They're both great cameras for different purposes. I know for me, if I just want to run out and get a quick shot, make it look even more vintage and retro, this with the glimmer glass is my go-to. But if I'm shooting something that I want to get printed and I want to take more energy and time with, the GFX is going to be my go-to. Just, um, there's, you guys saw, it's just, it's great. There's an insanely cool sign back there, but I can't get back there, so I give up. All right, so back in Texas, about four hours from home. This is the end of the road for this trip. Packing everything up so when I get home, I don't have to deal with all of it. I am keeping the X100V out because as you go through all these small Texas towns, they they look amazing. They have so much character and so much old uh, Americana history. Yeah, that's it. Peace. I gotta show you guys what an Indian taco is. Long story short, when we were forced on the reservations, they killed off all our food supplies, took everything from us, so we would go on the reservations, and then they just gave us very few things, flour, sugar, salt, lard, and we had to make do with that. They ended up making fry bread, and that's what this stuff is. Uh, it's very delicious. So Indian tacos, basically everything you put in a taco, but on fry bread, it tastes amazing.